Welcome back to the channel guys. This is Woodcrafters Corner where we talk about all things woodcrafting but not a lot about corners. In today's video we're going to be reviewing one of the cheapest three knife starter sets that I've ever seen. Now this does include three total knives which I found by the way on aliexpress.com for less than nine dollars. Now if you've looked at any three knife starter sets in the past maybe on one of my reviews you might notice that that's quite a bit cheaper than what they normally go for, even the Beavercraft, which is traditionally one of the more value priced. So I haven't opened it yet. Well, I opened it a little bit, but I haven't really opened it. And today we're going to dive in and just see what's in this thing and how good is it? I don't know. Let's get right to it. All right. So as I said before, I only slightly cut this open, but I haven't gone all the way. So bear with me as we open this up. And we'll see what they gave us. Let's see. Okay. All right. Better be careful. It's a little hard to get out. I'm gonna try not to like have it slide all the way. There we go. Okay. All right. That's all that's in there. Now, generally ordering from AliExpress, you're looking at a very long wait time because it's coming from China, sometimes up to a month or more, actually. But uh, this one only took 15 days, so I was pretty impressed with that. Now, again, this costs between eight and nine dollars. I think it was eight fifty or something like that, and so very, very inexpensive. So let's start with this one. So this looks like a detail knife of some kind. Now, interestingly enough, the materials that they list are steel and wood for the handle. So <laughs> I guess we're getting a pretty good quality here. I have no other information to go off of other than that. So now they do have these little tip covers. That's so nice. Wow. Do they stay on though? Well, kind of. Better than nothing. So this is the Sloyd knife, if you will. And this is the spoon carving knife. Now, I'm not going to lie, I don't have any huge hopes for how sharp these are right out of the box, but I guess we'll we'll give them the benefit of the doubt, so let's start. Now, of course, I do have my flex cut here, which is the, currently the sharpest knife I have for a little bit of a comparison. So let's just try, and let's start with the detail knife here, maybe. Actually, let's start with the Sloyd knife and maybe just cut out a little bit of this piece of basswood and see what we got. Oh, wow. Huh. Interesting. I'm very surprised. That is pretty sharp. Huh. It's cutting right through it. And I do like the angle of the blade. It's not perfectly... I don't know what you'd call it, but... It's not a perfect angle here, but... As you can see, it's also not... I don't know. It doesn't look very well set into the handle. It feels very lightweight and very cheap, which is to be expected, but it's also pretty sharp. Not bad. Well, let's try this one. And I'm just going to do a little bit of... Okay. <laughs> wow, I am actually pretty impressed. Got on my glove here because safety is important. So I'm just going to try to carve, make just a little bit of something here. Wow. So I will say I can feel a little bit of flex in the blade and the handle. Uh, and as you can see, it's very similarly shaped to some other blades in that uh, style. But man, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. This is almost a little too long from the handle, uh, this part right here. So it's, it's, it kind of feels like a little unwieldy, like I don't have a ton of control. Okay, so it's definitely a lot sharper than I thought it was going to be, but I wouldn't say it's like razor sharp. But I don't know, I guess I just expected it to be like entirely dull. I reviewed a uh, old timer splinter carving knife, and man, that one was dull. It was hard to even get through the wood, but this one is... <laughs> quite a bit sharper than that one is. Granted, the old timer is only like 20 bucks, but this one was only eight. 
yeah, so not bad. I, I'm i pleasantly surprised with that. Now, the other thing is I would love to test, but I am not a... Huh. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. It's pretty good. I'm not a spoon carver, and so I probably wouldn't be the best person to test this and see how good it is for making a spoon, but I'm generally familiar with the with the movement here, so hopefully I don't embarrass myself too badly. Uh, now the uh, sharpened edge is on this corner, or on this side, as you can see. So for me, being right-handed, I'll only be working towards myself. Maybe a left-handed person would be able to come in here and, and do a little bit of this action, but I do not feel comfortable doing that because I can't use my left hand very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. And you can see my inexperience showing here, I'm sure. This one, oh. <laughs> okay, that explains a lot. This one's not sharp at all, okay. Yeah, this is just as dull. <laughs> well, not just as dull, but it's pretty close to being just as dull as on the other side. This is not sharp in any, <laughs> any way whatsoever. Okay. Well, two out of three isn't bad, I guess, for <laughs> eight something dollars. I am impressed with the Sloyd knife. I'm impressed, sort of, I guess. Yeah, with a detail knife. This is pure trash. Uh, I don't know how to say it any other way. Now, of course, you could sharpen this, I'm sure. But I don't, I'm not going to worry about that for $8, and for my purposes, I'm not even going to use that one. Uh, now, I don't know what kind of steel these use, so I can't say how much they'll hold their edge. I would imagine not very long. Uh, the wood that they use here is really light. I don't know what kind it is. And I expected to show for comparison, like the detail knife, to show, wow, let's see how dull this is and compare it to the flex cut. But... Yeah, this one's obviously a bit, sh quite a bit sharper, but um, this one's not too bad. So, for eight dollars, eight or nine dollars, whatever it was, I can say, hmm, is it worth it? No, it's really not. I wouldn't spend eight dollars on these again, and I wouldn't recommend that anyone else do either. But it's interesting to see what you get for that price uh, for a very inexpensive whittling set from uh, China. So that's what it is. Let's give it a little bit of a closer view. Detail knife here. Clean that off. They at least tried to put a bevel on it. And there's a bit of an edge, so can't fault them for that. This is a little hard to hold on to. It's very smooth, which isn't a bad thing. But you might notice me struggling. That's all right. Sloyd knife, which isn't perfectly machined. You can kind of see a little bit of wobble there. But, and I mean, I wouldn't trust it to go really hard on something, like if I'm really pushing in, going this direction or something. I don't know. It feels like it could break. So, while it is sharp and it does work, I wouldn't put a ton of pressure on it. And then the spoon blade. So, <laughs> this is just, uh, I don't know, maybe they just put it in there for show or something, because they, they literally did not attempt to sharpen it. Uh, there's a bit of a of a bevel here, but... I, right now, that's just for show, so I guess if you're willing to sharpen that, it might be worth it, but literally, I'm pressing pretty hard here. There's, I have no danger of, of even breaking the skin, so <laughs> nice try. That's alright. It's interesting to see what you'll get for that price, but I think I will call it good here and just say, yeah, they're pretty cheap. It's kind of what I expected. They're a little sharper than what I expected, but you get what you pay for. So now the answer to the question on everyone's mind, is this three-piece carving set from AliExpress.com worth the money? Well, the answer is no surprise. No, it's not worth the money. In fact, I wish I'd taken that $8 and gone to Taco Bell where I could have gotten two Supreme Chalupas for the same price, and it's a lot more filling. In any case, it was a fun experiment at least, except for the spoon knife, which is absolutely worthless. But I hope it was fun to watch, and I hope you enjoyed it. If so, be sure to catch me in the next video where we'll be talking about something else. Thanks for watching.